What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Notorious Blaze, and welcome to my brand new, I guess you can say, series, because I'm going to be doing this on all the weapons of Battlefield 4. I am going to take them, do a tip and review on them. Mainly what I mean by tips is I'm going to tell you what attachments are good and what attachments probably won't do anything and really help you out. And then I'm going to give you also my opinion. And the first part of the video will be most likely all the time will be like the gun with no attachments on it and whatnot. Just to show you like what it would look like and what you would need to do with it if you're going to use it just with no attachments. Because that's what how you're going to start off with most of your weapons. Also, the review part is going to be, like, based on the stats uh, and all this other stuff. It's going to get real technical into it, so I hope you guys will enjoy this series as much as I will do creating it. So sit back and enjoy. Alright, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into it here. So this is going to be the Scar-H, no attachments, so basically Scar-H raw, I guess you can say, however you want to say it, so Scar-H, no attachments, and uh, my personal opinion on this weapon, I did not have a blast using it off the start, like it was a pain in the ass to do, but I got you, I got the hang of it, or the hang of it, I said that wrong, and uh, only thing I can give you, like if you're using it with no attachments, is uh, from a distance, you know, you always have to tap fire it, uh, medium range you want to hold a little bit down on the stick to where it tries to keep it angled as you can see right there That's what I was doing with that also It's not really that great of a weapon to uh, I guess you could say like fire a lot as you can tell I miss a whole lot with this weapon But that is basically my straight-up opinion about this weapon the scar H not a fan favorite of mine or favorite of mine not a fan favorite I really don't like it, but I know there's people out there that can use this gun like nothing. So tips to them for sure, because I rage so much at this gun, like y'all have no idea. So to me from my experience using it, it needs the for me I have to have a red dot on any weapon just about. Like I just need a red dot. Either that or at least an ACOG distance for that reason. Um but this weapon needs a uh Com uh, not a compensator but a muzzle brake and at least an angled or a vertical grip like that's the only way I think it had like that good accuracy it barely moved but I still needed to hold down a little bit on the stick because it will still jump up so it wasn't all that great but it fixed some of the problems with it as y'all can tell um now the main thing that I ran with the Scar H would be the uh, coyote sight the muzzle brake the angled grip and the laser sight. The only reason for that is because I was playing team deathmatch so I knew I was going to be up close and personal so the laser sight kind of increased the accuracy up close and personal so that was you know pretty good. The red dot I cannot see using iron sights worth the crap on any of these games. I don't know why I just don't like iron sights for most of the weapons so I always run red dot. That's like a thing of mine is red dot. And yeah, that's basically like the attachments I use on the weapon at all times. And the red dot's mainly like the main thing I use anyways for any weapon. And so we're going to go ahead and get into the statistics of this. So honestly, this gun has really not that great of statistics. So when I mean st uh, stats, I'm just going to go into like the general, the reload, and the recoil. I'm not going to go into like all the distance stuff and all that or whatnot but this gun has a great damage and great minimum damage at all like it's good uh, the drop off and drop off end is uh, 8 meters to 55 the max damage is 34 the minimum damage is 25 so I mean that's pretty good fire rate though I really am not a favorite of the fire rate it's just too too slow just too slow of a fire rate and I always got beat in most battles where they caught me at the same time I caught them the fire rate is 720 rpm rate of per minute so that's that the muzzle velocity I don't know like what's the big deal with that but I think it is like how fast it travels and whatnot how fast the bullet travels and whatnot so it's 410 meters a second 
and then the bullet drop is 15 meters a second squared so that's that the mag size is way too small to me like I cannot use this scar H just because of the magazine because I need ammo to like really just spare because always get in battles that have more than two to three people most of the time so 21 is not the best now the reload speed however is pretty good for an assault rifle I think. Reload when it's empty and not an extra bullet in it, it's 2.4 seconds. So that's not bad for a, an assault rifle from what I know of right now. And the reload with one bullet at, one bullet at least left is 1.9 seconds. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Now the recoil. The recoil is the big thing that gets into it. The recoil up is going 0.5 each bullet you shoot. But the second you first shoot, it's a 1.6 recoil. So it's going to be increasing. The recoil to the left and the right are the same. So it should be staying a little bit in the middle, but probably bouncing around a little bit. So it's going to be 0.2 for those two recoils. So that's that, basically. That's the stats on this. And... I'm just going to go ahead and give my opinion with like the attachments I had on it. I had a blast using the weapon with the attachments I had onto it because like I would get kills that I never thought I would be able to get like that one right there. I you know, I would have probably have not pulled that off with like an M416 or something. But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching the very first episode of Weapons Tips and Reviews. If you guys enjoyed, please drop it a like. And if you want to comment on the next gun you want me to use, or any gun particularly. And uh, yeah guys, peace. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video and everything, and I'll catch you in the next episode.